specifically, right? We asked when we started our, our work with the chamber, we met with Tony, we met with Grafton, and we said, okay, if this thing's going to work, if we're going to bring in 200, 250 new members in a two-day period of time, the only way that's going to happen is we need to find some leaders at the top. We asked them to help us identify some folks who fit a pretty specific criteria. We were looking for people who were well-connected, obviously. We were looking for folks who were maybe a little ego-driven. Is that, are you okay with that? <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> Jeanette, are we okay with ego-driven? Is that, that's not a bad thing, right? A little bit of ego is okay. Not in the realtor community. No. <laughs> <laughs> right? So we were looking for people with a little bit of an ego. We were looking for competitive people, folks who were over at uh, Miss Christina's house. Are we competitive? <laughs> I don't think that anybody on this side of the room is going to deny that we're a little competitive as well, right? That's my team. Fun people. This is this is a group of fun people. That's 
for sure. So networking, right? And that's usually the number one answer we get. But what we know is that people engage for all different kinds of reasons. And only about 8 to 12% of our membership is ever going to be involved in the networking piece of it. So when you have your conversations with, your, with, the, with the people that you talk to about chamber membership, make sure that, you're, number one, it's in your voice, that you're talking to these people the way you talk to these people. You're not just reading this whole litany of items off of the sheets in front of you. But if marketing is important to them, talk to them about marketing. Talk to them about the fact that they can carve their chamber membership right out of their marketing budget if that's important for them because there are all kinds of products that they can use with their membership. Talk, if networking is important, talk to them about that. If they have staff and, and having those staff educated in a valuable way is important, this chamber has educational programs that would be professional development opportunities for their staff you can take your chamber membership right out of that line item in your budget if that's important to you. So make, if advocacy is the piece that is, is going to be top of mind for you, then that's your message. Make sure you're, you're creating a message that's important and valuable to that particular person you're talking with. The, the challenge here, guys, is that we don't know what the person we're talking to on the other end of the phone is going to find valuable about this chamber of commerce. There's just too many options. And we don't know what they need unless they've already told us what they need. So if what Annette said is true, and Tony, back us up on this. I mean, I think this is probably accurate here. I know for a fact. I don't ask any questions. I don't know the answer to. I think we get about 8 to 12%, just like everywhere else in the country, about 8 to 12% of our total membership, 8 to 12 out of 1,100 people, are showing up at our pure networking events. Fairly accurate? Yeah, I think so. Pretty close. Guys, if only 8 to 12 percent of the folks are ever going to take advantage of those, the last thing in the world we want to do is start the conversation with, we do great networking events and ribbon cuttings, even if that's why you particularly join the Chamber of Commerce. Use this sheet. I'm not going to read it to you. You can all read. But look at these things. There's some great stuff on here. I do want to point out two things to you. On what would be the third page of your front, back, front, okay, we're looking at one that says savings benefits. If you look at the second piece on there, it says that you can save up to 60% on office supplies through the Office Depot discount. It's an average of $300 per year in savings for a business that has up to about five employees. If you have more employees than that, you're going to save more than that. But the reason that I point that out is that you can pay, literally, for your chamber membership by simply utilizing this program, saving your, your Office Depot discount, and applying that to your chamber membership. Chamber membership becomes free when you use this program. The next thing I want to point out to you is page, well, flip it over one more, and you'll look for one that says, in the past five years, the chamber has. Because these are the things that affect every business owner in this community, whether they're a chamber member today or not. These are the reasons that we need to get on the phone and tell people they should join the chamber. Guys, please don't get on the phone and beg them to join. Please don't tell them, I'm locked in a room for two hours, they won't let me out. Right? This is not the Muscular Dystrophy Association jail and bail. Okay? We can't do that because we know that unless we lock you up again next year, they're not going to renew next year. Give them a reason. You're going to hear me screaming it from the rooftops. Give them a reason. Don't just ask them to join. Give them a reason. And there's the reason right there. Light rail. 34 million back to the schools. Those are the reasons. So you're going to call them up and you're going to say, hey, John, this is Joey. And you're going to leave out the part about the fact that you're drinking fireball. We're going to play the crowd here. Joey. Okay. We'll leave that one. <laughs> hey, John. Hey, John, this is Joey. I am calling because I'm helping the chamber out this morning to recruit new members and raise the voice for business in Wyoming County. It's just that simple, okay? And then and, and then share the message with them. Couldn't believe your name isn't on the roster. I just saw it and no, you're not on here. Right. Something's wrong. That's right. So you've got plenty of, of ammunition here. You've got plenty of passion and spirit in this room. And we've got you for three hours even though we don't have you in jail. Uh, although we do have you for those three hours, we want you for those three hours, so let's reserve, you know, putting the force on for next week's golf game till another time and, uh, you know, what we're going to have for Sunday lunch or whatever, you know, let's wait on the chit-chat until after. And that's my one kindergarten moment of the morning is that we are so glad you're here and we absolutely need you to extend the reach 
of this chamber staff because you've got connections they don't have. So um, you are not going to beg or arduous. We are offering value in, in exchange for an investment. They are investing. They are, it's an insurance policy, okay? Think of it in those terms. It's an insurance policy for a healthy local economy and for an economy that grows and is sustainable, all right? Um, you've got all kinds of tools in your, in your materials in front of you that you're going to use to make that happen. If you want to, oh, let's talk about cheat sheets. By the way, before we do the cheat sheets, has everybody registered on the computer, signed in, said you're here, the volunteer registration form? Has anybody not done that? If you haven't done that, so we're going to have that computer set up. It's all the way in the back of the room. Before we leave, just please, or before we get started, please register so we know that you're here so that we can thank you later. Awesome. So some of you walked in the door with these, and we